everyone, it's me, JB, and we are in week 37, going deeper. So what we are doing, we are taking it back to week 11, where our verse was from Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Live with humility. All right, so if you watched week 11 i apparently was really like not feeling well that week i actually um moved it over to black and white which means i must have really felt like death so i was going i don't remember but anyway um humility and i went through the definition of humility and everything else because i think this is one that sometimes confuses people they um they're like okay yes everyone knows that humility is a good thing but they feel like it's like it's it's like completely, completely like far, far over here or it's nothing at all where there is a happy medium of humility. So my first question, obvious question, are you living with humility? So there are um, some people who will be able to answer this question really, really easy. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm living with humility and sometimes I don't. And so... Um, I teeter on that. I actually was talking to someone about this back then, and it was a guy, and he was like, no, I am conceited. I think very highly of myself, and this and that and the other, and we were just trying to dig and get down to the root of it, and um, really, for him, it seemed to be that he just wanted people to think that he was, you know, a better person. And I know a lot of people who feel that way. They don't want people to feel like they're a better person. But being conceited doesn't make people see you as a better person. It actually turns a lot of people off. When you are a good person and you just be go out and be a good person, people see that. You don't need to tell them. You don't need to do anything to show that to them. So going a little bit deeper. So if you are a quick Christian then we understand as Christians that everything that we have is because of the God that is in us. So if we know that everything we have and our abilities and everything is because of the God that is in us, then we have no reason to be conceited because we know that without him, we wouldn't have been able to have it. So it's just a little bit of a different way for you to look at it, to understand that Everything that we own and everything that we have and everything we're blessed with is because he blessed us. So it's nothing of our own doing, so there's no reason for us to take conceit in it. There's no reason for us to take conceit in any accomplishments or anything in our life. And when you think about it that way, it is very humbling to know that, you know, God gave you this ability. And so it wasn't something that you could have done in your own strength. You needed him to accomplish that. So... We are going deeper as we um, go into this. If you hadn't watched, if you hadn't, if, <laughs> if I can talk today, if you haven't watched week 11, I will pop it up. I actually don't think I can pop it up. I think now it's cards. They, um, they're changing the way on YouTube that you can do things. And so now I think it's cards. So I can't actually like pop it up. It's not going to pop up there. I don't know why I keep doing that because it's not going to do it because it's a card now. But anyway, um, be sure to go back and watch that. I go a little bit more into the definitions um, of humility to kind of give an idea. Whenever, whenever I have a word that's hard to explain or something that's hard to explain, I go to the definition to get down to the root of it. So here we go. As we are in week 37, as we live at peace in strength with faith and perseverance, without complaining to listen, without anger, without fear, with patience and love, with humility. And now we're going to go deeper.